pick your battles carefully. Think of fighting as a chess game. If you control the strategies, if you get the guy to overcommit, if you control what they can do, or even have an idea what the limitations are or how they can move, then you can dominate the fight and defend yourself better. Some of you are going to say that you can't control the other guy in the fight. And I completely agree. But what you can do is control what you do and how you move. And that makes all the difference when trying to defend yourself in a fight. This is why I say pick your battles and create mousetraps. It's always best not to force opportunities when fighting, but instead create the conditions in which you take advantage. For example, if you're being held down inside control, rather than trying to force your way out to escape, it's better to position your body in a way that makes it awkward to be held down. This often forces your opponent to change position, and this gives you an opportunity and space to explore. It gives you the opportunity to escape. That way, you're conserving energy. You're not blowing yourself out trying to escape immediately, but what you're doing instead is creating an opportunity to escape by forcing your partner to move. Basically, you have to fight in a manner that drains the other person while conserving your own energy. And this is what I mean by pick your battles. Don't go head to head with another fighter. Get them to drain themselves, and then you take advantage. It's the same as stand-up fighting. If you cover up high, it creates an opening for opponents to attack. If you cover high, open low, the guy responds by punching low that obviously gives you an opportunity to counter high. You've created what we call a mouse trap. The key thing is the strategy, the strategy of how you fight. So picking your battles is really about selecting or manipulating the fight to work your way. You can't control the other guy, of course you can't. You can't stop him from punching or kicking. What you can do is place your body in a certain position at a certain point in time to force the other person to counter that. Now as long as you know what you're doing, and you're one step ahead, then you should be able to counter their movements. So what's the takeaway from this? Well the takeaway would be to improve your defensive skills. The better your defensive skills, the better your mindset. Experience allows you to pick your battles, but you do have to start somewhere. And the best place to start is with yourself.